you know, there, there was there was a lot of problems right then. And you know what was the event? The one event okay. that killed it for me in 2005. Mm -hmm. At the Forge booth, several people made a, an informal bet. Okay. Or a bet was made about them. I'm not sure that the actual publishers mm -hmm. made the bet, but I think a couple did. But the but it was and it became very exciting to a lot of people there about which one was going to sell the most. Oh, that that's really toxic. And I found, yeah, and I found out about it halfway through the con, mm, and okay. I was thinking to myself, if I had known about this before the con began, I would have handed their money back and said, "Don't come." And it was so exciting to everybody. And I looked at this and I said, this is not what we do. <laughs> and it, it, and I, felt, I felt like one of those 70s militant activists who had okay, built yeah. a social movement and they had done, you know, they coordinated with other social movements and they were, you know, they, they'd gotten their name in the news and there was notorious events and there was positive events and they did things like go to all the hippie outdoor concerts and they, you know, there was mentioned in the underground comics and some members had, were very good at talking to the press and all that shit. And one day the old guy in the group turns around and says, you are fucking up the whole thing. <laughs> okay. You know, I felt exactly like that. And, um... It was really a, a frustrating experience that day, mm. and um, and I really, I to this day do not know. Just like nobody knows about politics, to this day I don't know how on earth you structure a collective and spontaneous activity. It's both collective. Mm -hmm. And it's people participate in so far as they get interested and in so far as what they want to do. Uh, you know, you know what, just an anecdote, a, th a fun thing is that um, I'm, uh, I'm an academic in management. Mm -hmm. So uh, organization theory. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And and um, and organizational behavior and much of my experiment uh, of my, of my experience in um, the RPG community was uh, nourished and uh, nourished in, in return all my PhD work. Oh, no, uh, no question at all. I mean, uh, uh, I, I met a, a woman from Bulgaria uh, as a fellow parent. So mm -hmm. her kids were in the same preschool. And she was an academic in the States now. And she uh, very keenly, she studied management theory. Okay. And so at that point, I was fascinated. I said, really? Mm -hmm. What is management theory? <laughs> Do you, by any chance, have little boxes with arrows? Because I want to see those. <laughs> and um, especially because I have a strong background in several branches of zoology. Oh, okay. Um, evolutionary theory of all kinds. Mm -hmm. as well as the construction of relationships among creatures, mm -hmm, right? mm -hmm. famous systematics, but also um, uh, functional anatomy and behavior. Okay. And so, and particularly the different branches of behavior that have and have not meshed well with evolutionary theory, which is an oh, extraordinarily, okay. I mean, if, if, if an extraordinarily intense mm -hmm, mm -hmm. history and so um so i already had tons of modeling about social dynamics mm -hmm, mm -hmm. to work from um and so i said what do i see over here in you know management theory yeah and um and it was, I, I won't go into like all the details. It would bore you. It's all freshman mm. stuff to you, right? This is all, you know, like, oh yeah, so you got 101, you know, big <laughs> deal. Huh? You know, congratulations for being an amateur. And so, um, but still, as you can imagine, mm. you know, I was able to actually read the papers, right? I'm versed in academic language. And so, yeah. and she wanted to talk to me about it because we were friends and she mm. could, you know, 
just have somebody to talk to. And, um, and I really benefited from that. But the mm -hmm. first thing I found was there's only one question on everybody's mind. Why does it break down all the time? Yeah. There's, yeah I mean, it's, it's not a study of function at all. Yeah. <laughs> the, 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 the primary observation is, and it all falls apart. Mm. Right? That's the question. Not yeah. how does this work, but why on earth doesn't it? Um, and how do you deal with the uh, hierarchy, for instance? How how do you deal with the uh, coordination? Um... Mm -hmm. Well, how on the how on earth is hierarchy established anyway? If yeah. uh, I am so sick of cultural theory, which is all tautological, mm -hmm. you know, the culture makes how we think, and how we think makes the culture, and you're like, all right, all right, you know, um, even you know, accepting culture as a phenomenon with its own internal variables is no mm -hmm. problem. That's easy. Mm -hmm. for me. The problem is, no, we're not going to divorce it from everything else and let it go on its own hamster wheel. Mm, Let's, yeah. We have to ground things like the questions you were asking right now in who we are. What kind of sure. animal are we? What kind of social endeavors do we get involved in? What do we value in each other's behavior? And why do we team up on things, mm. particularly things that don't make us any money <laughs> and that we do for fun? And then... Something in this case, which not only do we not get paid to do it and not even make much money publishing in it, mm -hmm. and then second, we do it for fun, and third, for most of our histories, we get no external social credit for doing it. Mm. If you're a musician, for example, we can talk all about how hard that road is, because it can be very hard, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. nobody's going to criticize the fact that someone wants to make music. Yeah. And um, at the time, I mean, I remember running a forged thread where mm. I said, why are we closeted? You know, are you more forthcoming about your sexuality than you are about the fact that you role play? <laughs> <laughs> and and at the time, now, this might sound a little funny now, what with the, you know, Big Bang mm. Theory and all that stuff going on. Yeah. But and all these celebrities coming out of the closet to tell us that they play D D too. And you're like, mm. oh, you know, here, have a gold star. But the um but back then, you know, people people were terrified of telling people they role played. Mm. Oh, okay. They they would never tell a coworker. Ever. You know, they that was one of the issues with using real names on the forge. And I didn't mm. require a full real name. I just like to talk to people with their real name. Again, my naivete. Right? Yeah. And, um, and then some people raised the very proper point that there are real world consequences in their mm. profession. They perceived that if they were observed to be a hobbyist of this sort, that it would have consequences. We, yeah. we don't have that, that much of, uh, of a backlash in France, mm -hmm. from, from what I know. Um, whether it was ever it, true or whether they internally yeah. believed it is a very good question, but, oh, okay. but it was believed enough. There was a lot of smoke. Oh, there was a okay. lot of smoke. I don't know how much fire, but the smoke was real and there mm -hmm. was a lot mm -hmm. of it. So, I'm sorry, but go on. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm using my... my my website and, mm -hmm. and on, on the internet. If, if you type uh, my name on, on Google, you're, you're going to find two things. You're right. going to find my, my the, uh, the game I, p I published and my, my articles. So, right, uh, right. And, I, had, and, I had the same thing too. Um, the, in fact, one of uh, the people who has made a career out of disliking me, um, oh, for okay. which I still think I should get royalties, <laughs> um, they... Uh, they did a search, which should have taken maybe two seconds to discover my academic resume, and then treated mm -hmm. it like they had, you know, uncovered secret info. Oh, okay. And I was kind of like, how hard was that? Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. But yeah, so I agree. I always sort of put it all out there at once. But I found it, uh, but I found at the time, though, that people were less secure. At the very mm. least, they were insecure in their own self-image as role players. Mm. For regardless of the realities of actual backlash, the notion that you kept it closeted for purposes of your own self-respect. Oh, okay. Was that the, it was gruesomely real.
That mm, those those mm. threads back at the forge are still fascinating to read when people mm. were saying, "Yeah, I don't, I do this because I don't like to look at myself as a role player." Yeah, but I I would add that um, there is also the uh, the opposite position, meaning that um, f from my experience. Um, it's also easy to brand yourself as a game designer. You oh, know? Yeah. Uh, you know, oh, yeah. to, or I even mean, as a player, we, 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 the phenomenon, very common phenomenon, mm. people who would come in and be very vocal and very vocal and very, have all these opinions and very, very highly positioned. And so playing in game also, you know, right. No, very much. And of course, I, what I the, the, one thing that there's one thing they didn't do. Play. Yeah. You know, okay. their, their their experience in play was extraordinarily minimal, and they hardly ever played. But they, yeah. re, but so there's that issue as well. But mm -hmm. the uh, the thing, the reason I brought this up, though, we yeah. have a hobby where clearly you're not making nobody's paying you to do it. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's no there's no commercial version of it, mm -hmm. right? It's not like professional sports and amateur sports and neighborhood sports. There's no professional mm -hmm. version of it. And then second, uh, mm. you're not making much money by providing materials for it. You're not mm. getting, you know, nobody's enhancing their resume in general by yeah. you know, publishing role-playing games. And then second, uh, or third, as I was trying to get at, we can at least say that the relationship of the activity to socializing in general is much more fraught, much more okay. mixed up than it is for okay. many other things. That's there's there's it's it's hard to know how this positions you relative to everybody else, um, and I do think that that's an important consideration in people's minds when they do things. Um, so, if you have this this, the, then in that circumstance, where does hierarchy come from? Where does oh. management come from? Management of what? Um. Wow, the, 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 this question will, will bring us very, very far from RPG. But I can, I can answer. Please, I'm, 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 I'm mentioning a hierarchy because um, a very old feminist um, feminists have for a long time reflected on alt alternative organizations, and there of are course. great papers uh, on it. And um, <laughs> I've I've lived some of that practice for your information. So, oh, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And because my 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 thesis was about um, was about um, a feminist activist group, and um, uh, there is a, a very important article from um, it's 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 a it's a, a reflection of on the tyranny of um, uh, non. I don't remember exactly the title of 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 the uh, the the work. The work, but it's regarding the, the tyranny of structurelessness um, organization. So, um, if I'm summarizing the uh, the idea, it's that um, you can have uh, an organization with that uh, some kind of uh, hierarchy, in a sense that there is always be some kind of um, right. you know. Uh, a certain le level of uh, who's who's above and who's and uh, the, the 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 best way to 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 cope with that, which is also something I I, I read in my um, well I I discovered or found out in my uh, field work because uh, my met methodology is uh, ethnography, is that um, he, the best way to deal with this is to acknowledge that yes. there is. Right. A kind of right. status game. I there agree. The more game. you, the more you deny it and try to level it, the worse it's going to get. Exactly. Um, and I, I completely agree with this. And I'm, I'm, I think actually we do have a shared language for this, because yeah. uh, I have an extensive background in alternate communities in the United States. Okay. And I have actually seen one of the most notorious fall apart in front of my own eyes. Oh. And so, okay. Um, I've actually posted a little bit about this, especially at the, for if, if you go back to the Patreon, you'll find okay. some videos about this. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the relationship to the forge is real. That's why okay. I said, no, the moderator gets to do specific things. Okay. That, that this is, there is 
there's a hierarchy. There's me and all of you. Mm. Right. And um then the but the but that hierarchy is defined by specific activities. I tried to formalize mm. it as much as I could. And specifically looking at those alternate communities as I grew up, uh, that's why I had such a strong emphasis on entry and exit with no okay. drama. Because oh, okay. the, the communities in question were always at their most positive when they had a very high turnover, mm. good experiences in it, and mm -hmm. the sense of, you know, have a that's fantastic. That's staying and belonging and building okay. the thing itself as a structure, you know, as a mm -hmm. bigger and bigger player was exactly where everything went to hell in a handbasket. Yeah. And so I said, that's what the, the forge will never be. Will never be such a thing. It will only ever be a turnstile.